Welcome to the virtual presentation of eSeed, an interactive interface that self-drills. I am Dan Li. I will be representing our team from Working Matter Lab at Carnegie Mellon University. eSeed is designed to connect and resonate between the underground and our surrounding environment. Think about how humans currently deploy sensors outdoors. It is usually a manual process, covers a limited area, and difficult to carry out in hard-to-reach mountain regions. To monitor natural activities with IoT technology, we need to consider the depths of deployment, the exact locations of deployed sensors, costs, and also energy efficiency. To target a low-cost, massive deployment of sensors in remote areas, we leverage the plant intelligence as our source of inspiration. For example, a cucumber grows its tendril germinating from the ground that tries to grab any support and grow taller. A wheat ear, which carries the seed inside, has two arms that open and close alternatively as it falls on the ground and tries to bury the seed. Erodium, a genus of plant that has this coiled arm on its seed, twists its arm and self-drills into the ground upon the absorption of water. This special mechanism inspired e-seed. We carefully studied the structures of this natural actuator that self-anchors into a certain depth and derived a series of processes to craft e-seed, a replica of erodium gurinum in size and also the self-drilling mechanism. As you can see, this e-seed starts to twist its body as it absorbs water from the rain. When it dries out, the twisting occurs in the opposite direction. The cycle can be repeated many times until e-seed successfully establishes itself into the ground. On top of a naked e-seed, we derive a series of functionalities that can be incorporated into the design space of e-seed. An e-seed can be a display. We can apply fluorescent or reflective paint on the surface to bounce light signals or attach LEDs to display light signals. It can also bear miniature sensing devices, such as moisture sensors, to monitor soil condition. RFID tags to identify and track objects, range sensors to detect proximities. Sensors can also be analog, such as pH or a chemically responsive dye that changes color when exposed to hazard. All these functions rely on the successful anchoring of e-seed, which is an inherent function derived from nature as its actuation mechanism. With modified single e-seed, we can then build a network of e-seeds that are connected to a central hub, which offloads the computational unit and power source to achieve multifunctional field monitoring. We implement a design software in Rhinoceros using the Grasshopper plugin. The design tool provides us with a basic outline of e-seed, and we can customize this add-on padding area by changing its shape and size to afford additional functionality. We present three examples to showcase the application of eSeed. First, we dye them with fluorescent paint in three colors that mark two tip sections and the body under UV illumination. The fluorescent colors can be clearly captured by camera under UV light. We can identify the location and burial percentage of each eSeed to help us track and recycle them. Second, we imagine an interactive garden labeled with eSeeds carrying battery-free, tether-free, and writable RFID tags. After a tagged e-seed is anchored, you can interact with the RFID by using any NFC reader, such as one on the mobile phone. We envision this application can be broadened into interactive setups in arboretums or museums to trigger reactions from the garden. Lastly, we present multiple e-seeds functioning in synergy. Four e-seeds with customized light intensity sensors are spread and wired to a mothership carrying the control board and power source. Each e-seed has a sensing capability to cover a certain area. When something invades this covered area, it triggers the mothership to emit light and sound to drive out the threat. We would like to acknowledge the generous support from Accenture Labs and CMU Manufacturing Future Initiative and all our collaborators who contributed along the way. Thank you.